What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be working on the 72 Cutlass. Got a lot to do today. First off is AC Delete. So I finally got this in. Um, got it bolted up in a couple areas. I got to find a nut for this one and then two nuts here can't really see and let me grab my flashlight out so you can actually see what I'm doing so I need to find a nut for that because I got one from down here and I lost one down here I think I might see it though so I might have that but I need to put a nut there and one underneath here and it'll hold this all in I already got one right there and down there but yeah I mean it looks way way better now at least up against the firewall I gotta touch up some areas like that right there but not too bad um, I'm gonna put the uh, fan I guess inside here sorta of odd though the way this is placed I'm not sure if these line up with the ones inside so we'll see how that goes I'm not sure how that's gonna line up at all but We'll figure it out. Uh, another thing is, I got an air compressor. So, this was my grandfather's. So, I'm just using this one for now. Uh, it just plugs into the wall. We got this line and uh, a couple fittings. I got the gas tank out. The help of my father he came over earlier today and helped me take it out now I'm gonna be grinding all this rust away hopefully I don't create any holes but hey you never know and then we're gonna be painting all this and then uh, from where I stopped painting let's get underneath here this is like the part where I'd need like a crawler but and then paint all up underneath there so you can see I paint all that back there, so it looks really, really nice now. All right, I'm back many, many hours later. Uh, nothing really worth filming, but just a lot of tedious work. Got the gas tank off. Lots and lots of, I think this thing actually might have been pretty much like, I'd say three-fourths of the way full. The gas came out like a greenish-yellow mix. Not very good, so I might have to get a new tank because I think it's all rusted out. But got the entire underside painted. I'm trying to do this without touching the actual wet paint, but got the whole underside from front to back. It's all painted finally. Uh, let's see here. The last thing I did was if you go over here I got the AC delete mounted so I still gotta put a couple bolts on it but it's on um, I had to use so if you see that little white line in there try to zoom in on it right there that's like a foam to make it have a good seal because this does not line up on my firewall very well which I'm sort of sort of angry about that you know but nothing really I can do so yeah finally got that done uh, still need to do some touching up on that I'll get to that eventually though but yeah I mean basically the front ends all done just ready to throw in the engine and then front core Got the fenders here, still looking really good. Definitely need to be painted. And then I got, uh, I can't remember um, what was the aftermarket hood name. I think I said it a long time ago in one of my videos. You can go back to um, the playlist 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass project or build or something like that I named it as. So you can go check that out, watch all my previous videos. But yeah. 
but uh, I got a lot of work done today. It's just uh, just mundane. So, well, for a second for you and tomorrow for me, be putting this thing on the ground. So, see you in a sec. So I'm here at uh, Inline Tube. You can sort of see their sign in the background here. I uh, just got a bushing kit for the 1992, or not 92, 1972 uh, Cutlass. Came with brand new bolts, washers, all that. Um, yeah, so we're going to finally be able to put on the front core support and uh, get everything else put on, like the fenders and uh, maybe the hood. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, go check them out. I'll have a uh, link in the description to their website. Really cool company and a uh, real cool guy that uh, owns it. He's got a, I think it's a 71 Cutlass. So, yeah, or, well, 442, I should say. But, yeah, go check them out. And uh, if you need uh, quality uh, restoration parts, go see them. Got the fender on, along with, with, with the front core support. Looks really nice. Got the horns hooked up just to have the harness up in front. Basically got it where it needs to be. I gotta remove that charcoal caster though, on that side. But yeah. Looks a uh, hundred times better with uh, fender on. This looks so good. It actually looks like a complete car finally. There you go. Really nice. But just gotta get that charcoal canister off. And then I can put the on the other fender and then I guess would be the engine next. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you.